Today, I am going to be bringing you along for a week in the life. It's a relatively busy week this week for the fleet of cars that we have. Um, going to be washing cars and delivering them each day this week. It's Tuesday. Uh, yesterday, I was actually doing some other property stuff, which we can film more videos on. But today is going to be just Twiro stuff. So today, I'm actually washing uh, an X5. It's a relatively new X5 that we just bought this year. Uh, 2021 so I'll show you maybe some bits and bobs of how I clean that then I'm delivering it to sort of near central London and then just gonna sort of walk around come back and uh, prepare some things for tomorrow so I'll bring you along so I'm actually bringing a new toy it's like a uh, it's called an ego blur it's like a leaf blur but with some special attachments for drying the car which I think will be especially useful for today because it's super hot today. Well, for London anyway, and for washing my car. So it's like 28 degrees, sunny, which is like the worst to wash a car because everything dries in the car. But yeah, we'll see how it is. So I'm actually in the 5 Series because I'm just driving from my flat to the house. It was like literally five minute walk, but I had a load of stuff to bring today that you saw. So I thought it'd be lazy to take the car. Well, I wouldn't be able to bring it otherwise. This is a nice one. This is actually I'm going to be cleaning tomorrow because it's going out on Thursday. So this is the one for that. But yeah, nice. I drive this the most because it's the most fuel efficient. It's a nice car, but it's getting a bit old now. So it's 2017. So we need to keep updating the fleet next year. So like this is my little setup here. Got like the water going in there. My hose roll here. It's come out, which I use after. Jet wash. I really want to upgrade to a Kranzel jet wash, but. <laughs> In this current makeshift setup, it's not the best. Got my chemicals here. So I'm going to do the inside first. So first, I'm going to hoover it with this attachment to get most of the dust off. That hoover over there. I like to do the inside first, just because get it out of the way. I just like to do it that way, and do the outside after. So yeah, I'm going to start that now. So I'll literally go around and do everything with that attachment. It's a nice soft bristle and you can just get all the dust and bits out. I'll take the mats out because I'll do them separately with a different attachment. But at least I can do the bits underneath the mats with that as well. Luckily, they don't need the third row of seating because I'm going to have to clean the third row of seating as well. That is really long. But yeah, uh, I'm a bit tight for time today. So I'm going to blast out the rest of the interior. What I'll do is then go wipe everything down properly. Um, this car has been kept in pretty good condition uh, by the previous renter, very nice guy, so there's not that much to do. So I can just give everything a wipe down. If it's quite dirty, I'll get the brush like this and spend a while just deep cleaning it. Yeah, I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down. Same with the glass. And then I'll be able to do a final hoover over everything once I've wiped everything down. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully I can finish up and move on to the exterior, which is the fun part for me. So I don't actually have enough time to do the wheels properly with my wheel tools. Usually I'll give them a proper scrubbing, but they're not actually too dirty. Um, so I'm just going to give them a pre-spray like I will with the whole car. And because it's quite hot today, I'll need to rinse down the car first, just to cool it down a little bit. And then spray on some uh, OPC or citrus. And then... I can uh, spray that down again or foam over it to clean the car. And then I'll do a final foam, wash the car, like hand wash the car, and then I'll be able to spray my uh, rinse on rinse off protection and then dry the car with the new Ego blower. So I'm gonna try and get this done quite quickly. Don't have too much time. I don't wanna be on time for the rinse because I need to deliver it and I need to get fuel on the way. I really like this hose reel. This is a very good 
addition. So I can just reel it out all the way. And I have the quick disconnects on it and it's much easier to put away as well. So I've washed the car. I'm tired and hungry, but I just need to go and deliver it now. Get Sean away. I'm just here to get changed. I'm sweating, but I'm probably going to sweat more. I'm just going to get changed out my car washing stuff because they're dirty. I'm going to clean tea, stuff like that, and then we'll get fueling and deliver it. Okay, so just delivered the car. Really nice guy. Um, he was actually recommended by a friend of ours, which was really nice. So this is in, where are we? Just above Hyde Park or Porchester Place. So really nice area. What I'm going to do, because it's such a nice day, uh, I'm going to pretty free for the rest of the day until tomorrow. I'm going to take a walk around instead of just jumping on the transport and sort of start walking home. It would be a two hour walk home. So probably like walk for an hour and then maybe get some tea on the way, something like that. So guys, today is the next day. Um, yesterday, I actually ended up walking all the way home. So from just west of Marble Arch, I live in West London. I just, I knew I was going to walk a bit because it was a nice day. I was going to walk through Holland Park and I was like, all right, I'll jump on the train at some point. But the thought of jumping on the underground when it was like 29 degrees was not the best. And I thought I'd walk. So I walked all the way to like Westfield because I needed a wee. So then I went in, had some lunch. Then I actually um, then just decided to walk home. So yeah, I did that. I was knackered, but I paid the price in the evening. So, but today we are just washing the fire series. So yesterday we washed and delivered the X5. But today we are just washing the 5 Series because it's got a trip tomorrow evening at 10 p.m. Uh, at Heathrow, I'm gonna drop it pretty late to 10, 10 p.m. at Heathrow. So we're gonna wash that today just because, I'm doing that today because I can leave it in my, in my car park and it won't get dirty or anything. Um, but then tomorrow I have to wash another car for Friday and on Friday I have to wash a car for Sunday um, because I would rather not wash two cars in one day so I'd rather do it spread them out over the day so that's what we're going to do today okay so I've set up the car a little bit differently today because it's so sunny I'm going to put the well I have put the car sideways to be more out the sun at least also when I do the wheels all the wheels be out the sun because I do them first when I'm doing the wheels properly so at least they will not dry up before I get them and get around to doing the car. So this way, I'm still going to do the inside first, but yeah, I like my setup here. I've got these really good bottles. Got my wheel bucket ready as well. This 5 Series is actually usually kept pretty clean as well. This is not really usually families and kids in the back and stuff. People aren't going to the beach and things with this. Um, so it's usually okay. This is one that I actually drive the most, so it doesn't really need too much of a deep clean on the interior, which is good. I'm just going to give a, giving it a good hoover and give it a nice big wipe down now. And then like yesterday, I'll go over again to uh, finish off at the end and stuff. The glass cloth and hoover at the end. Very important to not forget the glass. Little things like that. You think it's clean, but actually probably not. So I've got this sort of deodorizer thing from Koshkemi and you just spray it. And it's not to make the car smell nice, it deodorizes any sort of smells that are in that fabric and then in the air as well. So I'll spray some of that. And then usually 
just before they come, I'll spray something else like to actually make it smell nice. Or I leave them an air freshener and I leave it in the car because, sorry, I leave it in the plastic because not everyone likes air fresheners. So I give them a choice. Most people actually don't end up using it. So I guess it's good that I don't open it. So I'm going to show you how I do one of the wheels to show you, because yesterday on the X5 I didn't do the wheels properly because they weren't that dirty, but these have not been cleaned in a while. So you can see they're super dirty. And these are quite intricate with loads of spokes, so it's going to take a while. But I have this chair to sit on to make it easier. I have this, which is like a turbo nozzle for the carpeted arches in the rear ones. Got a wheel firm, my bucket with some soap in, my chemicals, an all purpose cleaner or citrus, wheel cleaner, and um, undress for the tires. I'm going to try my best to do this without the uh, camera getting dirty, but first I will rinse it. <laughs> just to get as much of the dirt up as possible. So I get this, it can be a citrus or an all-purpose cleaner. Just spray as much as you can. Especially in the arches, not the arches, but the center bit here. A lot of brake dust and dust just gets caked on in dirt where you can't see it, but it ends up, ends up kicking up more dirt. That's quite a lot, but it's um, a lot of spokes, so there's a lot of surface area to cover. And then I'll get the tire brush whilst the So this is just a brush, it's like kind of hard, but not too hard, it's pretty soft so that if it does go around on the wheels it's fine and it can sort of shape to the to the um, tyres. So I'll do that whilst the all purpose cleaner is sitting on the wheels and then a tyre cleaner is like one that I kind of looked over for a while, but now I use it and it can make such a big difference that all purpose cleaner just doesn't do it for the tyres on the rubber. Then I rinse this off. So doing the wheels is actually something that I used to hate. Once you get a process that you like and that's pretty enjoyable, you don't have to rush, then uh, it's definitely not as bad. So what I'll do now, I'll get the wheel cleaner and I'll spray that. Make sure you get all inside. Then on the wheels. So then I'll let that sit for a sec. And then I'll get this wheel foam. And just spray that on top. So that gives it a nice long lasting leather. First thing I'll start with is this, which is like a wheel face brush. 
but you can sort of get really behind each caliper. And again, this is a lot of effort for these wheels because there's so many calipers, but they look nice, I guess. Because the problem is when you leave the dust and stuff behind the calipers, not the calipers, what am I talking about? Behind the spokes. Um, when you next drive it, as soon as you drive it and then it starts to throw all that up, even though the wheel face is clean. Um, and then it just makes the wheels dirty straight away or just more quickly. It also makes your towel really dirty when you then go in and are drying the wheels after you've washed the car you think that the wheels are clean but after doing the wheels then you wash the car and then the jet wash sprays some of the dirt from behind the spokes back up again so if I have the time I'll always make sure to try and do this and you kind of learn to just enjoy the process of washing the car again if the weather's like the perfect weather will be cloudy and like 20 degrees no rain which inevitably never happens um, but yeah that's that done, and then I'll get the sort of detail brush around the centre, getting the lug nuts, and then I'll just get in between here again, because sometimes it's hard to get in the corners. This is not so important on this wheel, but I'll try and get the brake calipers. On the X5 yesterday it has blue brake calipers, and the spokes are further apart, so it kind of means more. And then I'll get on the uh, wheel brush final time. You can see how much cleaner the foam is. Oh, I do want to try some wheel willies though, because the problem with this is that it kind of flings everywhere. But at least on the cars with them, um, big spokes, it doesn't fling. And also this one means that you can really get behind the brake calipers when they're really big on the front wheels. I know that on the uh, new X5 that I cleaned yesterday, that's always a bit of a problem. I can never get in anyway. And I'll get the inside here. Because this one's a plastic one. And then done. Looks like I did not manage to get the camera, keep the camera clean. Oh well, I'm going to do the other four wheels. I'm just going to do the same on them. And then I will come back when I'm going to go wash the car. Maybe the bodywork. Uh, yeah, seems like a long process, but you get quicker at it. And you just kind of learn to enjoy this process. You can sit down, do it properly, get a nice clean. If you're not in direct sunlight, you don't have to brush. It's pretty nice. So yeah, got to learn to love the process. Check out these wheels, they're pretty clean, I would say, so yeah. So I've just rinsed down the car, because again it's been sitting in the sun, so I usually do that anyway just to get some of the uh, dust off, um, but also to, yeah, cool the panel temps down a little bit, but they're back to hot straight away. Um, so when I put on the chemicals in the snow foam, it doesn't just dry up straight away. Now I've got my um, pre-wash mixed up already. I'm just gonna snow foam the car. Because this is a uh, alkaline pre-wash, 
put in its sun. Try not to leave the sitting on in the sun for too long. But one thing that I forgot to show, well, I actually forgot to do, was clean the exhaust tips when I do the wheels. So just try and get in them like this. The detail brush would have been better, but. Okay, so now I'm just rinsing this off. Huh? Give me some of that. Huh? Give me some you want some? Yeah. Oh, love it. It's so hot, isn't it? <laughs> that was just my neighbour who <laughs> was too hot and wanted to be uh, blasted with some water. So the point of the pre-wash is to get us off as much dirt as possible. And Traditionally, in proper car detailing, that's to mean that when you do the contact wash, there's uh, at least it on to prevent scratches. Now, this is a rental car, so inevitably, I can't baby these cars. I, mean, I may polish them one day just to brighten them up, but they have lots of dings and bangs on them. Can't make them perfect. And one thing is that you can't stay too attached to cars if you rent them out. Inevitably, small things will happen to them. The wheels will get curved, things like that just the way it is so yeah but for me it's just you know get as much dirt off as, as possible and if the car's really dirty i'll use an alkaline pre-wash if it's not i use a more neutral firm um and i'll have a citrus spray before but always on my contact wash i'll use a ph neutral snow firm which is what i have in here um and that's just because that's not about the cleaning power of the soap it's about you making a contact wash and having a nice slick wash. So. So I've got my wash pad and I'll wet it. And then I'll pour the rest of my foam from the cannon in, just to give it a little start up. Now I don't use a two bucket method, I don't really use a bucket method, so what I do instead is after every few goes I will just rinse it out as you will see. So I think it's a bit of a better method, but I don't really have a choice. We don't have enough space for three buckets. So, gotta do what you gotta do. And like I said, like, if you've done the pre-wash good enough, then you shouldn't really need to. But um, yeah, and also, you know, the, cut, these cars are not perfect. They're black, they're marred, they're scratched already. Can't baby them, so. What can you do? But yeah, um, I mean, just talking about strategy for us for the following year. So we've got these cars that we have now, three SUVs, one saloon, um, which do really well. But uh, this is 2017 car, and um, so is one of the X5s. And the Volvo is 2018 now, that's actually not so old, only because the new shape Volvo hasn't actually, well it's out, but hasn't hit the streets yet, so it looks new. It's the newest one like available that you can see, so it's fine, but 2018 still is getting a bit old. Um, it's crazy to think that, that was so long ago. When we started in 2019, the 2018 car was one year old, would have been brand new for us. Yeah, um, we have that, and then that 2020 X5, which we got this year. So we want to get another one of those, maybe in like a different color or something. 
and then what else? Maybe an X7. I don't know if it would be too big for some people, but if you've got lots of people, I think it would be good. A lot of Americans are used to driving cars that big. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just get this and... Into any of the dirt. But again, this wash pad is white, so you'll be able to see if there's any dirt. And that actually never is. It's my dream to, in two years, have a premises where I can wash the cars indoors. Also, then I can have somewhere to store them because that would mean that then, as soon as they come back, I could wash them so that they'd then be ready to go for the next rental instead of having to do like wash them just before the trip which is what I have to do now um, which is quite difficult um, and we have to have that 12 hour buffer window because we need time to be able to prepare it um, so I can wash it as soon as it comes back but yeah maybe in two years that would also help us to get some sort of trade insurance because to get trade insurance you need a premises well, you don't need it, but it's too expensive if you don't have it. Um, I'm thinking next year we need to get some sort of finance early on. Sell two of these cars, get like four new ones, maybe six new ones if we sell these. So we can upgrade the fleet and have a bigger fleet. And then, because our aim with this is that the um, method is business is profitable per car we have such huge overheads with only running a small fleet like well types of cars like we can't really expand because the cost of insurance is so much whereas you can get a trade insurance to cover the cars when they're not in rent you can only do if you have you know a decent amount of cars stop the thing from drying and then I'm going to spray it, or we'll foam it, with like a, a liquid wax thing that you just spray on, spray off, and it gives the car like a shine and protection and some water repellency. And I'll do that without even rinsing it off properly. Straight on. Yeah, so hopefully we can do that next year and then the following year, you know, be big enough to get a premises or something. And then each year, you know, look more serious to finance companies and things. Because right now we just don't look big enough. There's not enough revenue to our business for them to even consider us for more finance. Kind of like chicken and the egg. You can't expand without the finance. And you can't do the, you can't get finance without expanding. One of those products where the more you rinse it the better it gets that's why i do big final rinse for ages yesterday i used the blower but um it just ended up just sort of evaporating the water on it i think if this car was ceramic coated then it would be fine to use but it's not so the water doesn't really sort of like fly off just kind of dries on it. So what I'm going to do is spray this with the detail spray to help stop it from evaporating. And then I'll dry it with the drying towel roughly and then use the then use the blower to get all the cracks out, the water out of the cracks. Cool. Um, from our Google page, just for a um, inquiry, but I couldn't really hear him. 
just call him back. Hello, Silly Current Tools. Yeah, hi, can you hear me? That's a good example of a call, I guess. What I'm going to do with this one because it's not due for rental till Thursday or tomorrow night. I'll take it back to my flat, leave that underneath, and then I'll get the detail spray. I have one that has like some, can get rid of water spots, and I will use that just before I leave to patch up the car. What I'm going to do is get the blower, blow out all the little cracks, and then what else? Do the door jams, wipe them down, and then wipe the wheels, put the tyre shine on, and then done. Easy. Not so easy actually, but. So I'm back here at my flat. I dropped the car back downstairs. Um, it's cleaned and ready to be dropped for tomorrow night. I'm going to bring some cloths and do a final wipe over before I take it tomorrow. It's going to be taken to Heathrow at 10 p.m. For the rest of the day today, I need to post something to our solicitors because we're in the middle of buying investment property. And I may film more of that when we start to do that. And also go to the gym because I wanted to clean the car earlier this morning because of the sun because it was so hot today it ended up not even happening but I didn't go to the gym in the morning usually I like to go to the gym first thing so I need to train some legs so I'm gonna go do a workout now So I'm back from the gym now, had a leg workout, um, which you would have seen. I think I just tried to film uh, one of each, I filmed a couple of my warm up sets and then one of each. I did five sets on the leg press and then some calf press and that was it. Uh, I'm pushing on 120 on the leg press now for both legs and calves. But I thought after yesterday my legs may not be able to take it. But I did two sets on 120 and then I did the remaining three on 110. Um, and then did some warm-up sets before that. And then same for the calves. So it's a pretty good, pretty good workout. I'll try and keep my leg day pretty short. Otherwise uh, I won't want to do it. But yeah, it's super hot in here because in my flat the sun comes around. It's west facing so the sun comes around in the afternoon and burns it up in here. But last year my neighbour gave me this um, air conditioning unit which vents out. So I have like a sliding door, so I managed to get it working. This is the current setup. So it's really cold air coming out here. Um, and it vents out through this thing. I've put the vent plate, you know, all the way up that sliding door. And the curtains that I got installed when I moved in, they close all the way to the middle, which is good. So I can keep it like that all the way. Let me know if you want a flat tour. <laughs> Don't know if anyone would be interested in that, but this is actually this is our first home that we bought. So we, you know, added all our bits and furniture and stuff that we've bought since we've been here like a year and a half. We've added things over time and stuff. So yeah, 
Anyway, tomorrow I am getting the tires changed on one of the X5s and then washing it in preparation for Thursday morning Heathrow delivery. So I'm gonna do that. So see you tomorrow.